Hello everybody. I'm having a heck of a time getting this video even done. Um, I sat down a little while ago and started the video and got a little over halfway through everything I wanted to say and uh, it beeped and the little red light went out and my batteries were dead. So generally I keep a whole bunch of batteries at the house and so uh, I went and I got them and I had I had one. I needed two. Uh, the other big pile of batteries I had were the AAA that I use for um, my um, blood pressure monitor. They wouldn't work my camera. So Joe had bought some batteries this morning, so I got some batteries for him, from him. And I came back and again changed the batteries sat down to do the video, had everything all together and turned the camera on and it wouldn't come on. And so I had to take the batteries out and put them back in and, and it, the camera finally started working. That's neither here nor there and I've probably made you flip this video off already. But anyway, now I'm going to see if I can get through this again. Uh, in the news, they've been talking about uh, Elisa Baker. She is uh, Zara Baker's stepmother. Or is she Zara Baker's stepmother? You know, she's um, in jail for unrelated charges of Zara's death, but uh, while she's been in jail, they've also discovered that she's a bigamist. She has been married seven times in 12 years and, so, and only had, I think, three divorces. So this makes you wonder, is she even legally married to Adam, um, Zara's dad? Is she even, are they even legally married? Now, if she was not legally divorced from some of these other people, she couldn't have even been legally married to these other men. She, and then they interviewed uh, one particular husband that she was married to for, I think about a year she was married to him. And uh, he said that she ruined him. He didn't elaborate on what had happened during that year that they were married, but he said after one year, he ended up walking out because she ruined him, and he said to this day he will never marry again. And it's like this. I've heard, a, I've heard some people say that, and I know some people have been through a bad marriage, and they say, I'll never marry again. I'll never do that again, is what they'll say. If it was that bad and that traumatic for you, that wasn't a marriage, because marriage is the happiest event in your life. And until my husband passed in 2002, I loved being married. And I had been married before I was married to my husband. But those didn't work out. And it, they weren't the happiest relationships I'd ever been in. But married to my late husband, that was indeed a good marriage. We had a wonderful marriage. And, and I was extremely happy. Um, will I ever marry again? I don't know. I used to say no. But I'm the kind of never say never. That's what I believe. Because... You never really know what the future holds. If I ever do marry again, it'd have to be somebody that I love just as much as I love my late husband and somebody that makes me just as happy as he did. Or it just, there would be no point in it. It'd be like going backwards. And I'm not doing that. Anyway, like I said, Elisa Baker has been married seven times in 12 years and, and they only have three records of divorce. So that's kind of weird. What about the mother who uh, killed her two teenage children, she said, for mouthing off to her? Uh, she shot her son, Bo, in the uh, SUV. He was 13. And then she shot her 16-year-old daughter in her bedroom while she was studying, I mean, uh, doing her homework on the computer. Now, they're saying that uh, she left the boy's body in the SUV. She left the daughter's body in the bedroom. Then she covered them both up with a blanket, and then she went outside the pool in her white blood soaked robe and passed out. Uh, she says she did it because they mouthed off to her. Now, there, I guess she's going to have some, some attorney. Who are the attorneys for these people is what I want to know because apparently what her attorney is saying, her husband is serving in the military and you know how they talk about how when the military men and women come back how they've got these psychological problems. Well, they're saying that um, and this might be true in her case 
because her husband's in the military and she's raising these teenagers alone. Hello? There's tons upon tons of women raising their kids alone. Come on now. They don't all fly off the handle and kill them just because they mouthed off. That being the case, the world's population would go way down. But anyway, the girl's daughter was 16. And I wish I could remember her name, but it's a funny name, and I really can't remember it. But uh, they said that her daughter had gone to the uh, school guidance counselor and to the principal, I think, just, just a few months before this happened, and was complaining about her mother. She said that her mom had beat her, that her mom had smacked her, and that uh, she was scared of her mom, and that her mom was smacking her and her brother. Uh, the school says that they uh, contacted social services. The social services went to the home and said, according to social services, nothing was done because they said it is a parent's right to discipline their child, as they put it, with corporal punishment as long as you don't leave bruises or marks. And therefore, they didn't do anything to the woman. Which I can understand, you know, not doing anything to her, even if she was spanking her children or whatever. But the 16-year-old girl was scared of her mom. Now, I'm not sure what they could have done, but they, they could have done a little bit more than that, I think. Because now, look what happened. However, then there was another case, this woman who... Uh, let her her baby die. I think the baby was 14 days old. Um, was apparently in a carrier on a table. She was playing Cafe World on Facebook. It's another one of those Facebook games. And the baby fell off onto the floor. Now, uh, she had originally told the paramedics that the dog did it. She said the dog knocked the baby off the table. And that when she picked the baby up, his eyes were open, but he wasn't breathing. Come to find out, they're saying that the baby apparently was crying. She was playing Cafe World. And she apparently shook the baby and then hit the baby in the head with her laptop. There was another woman back uh, a month or so ago that let her 13-month-old baby drown in a bathtub while she was playing, uh, uh, I'm not sure what game she was playing, either Cafe World or Farmville, one of the two. But her 13-month-old drowned in the bathtub while she was playing that game. Her reason for leaving him in the bathtub by herself, she said he wanted to be left alone. He wanted to bathe himself because he was a very independent baby. At 13 months old, I don't think you can even get a sentence out to say, I want to give myself a bath. I don't think so. He can't even wipe his own butt, much less give himself a bath. So give us a break. And then... Um, what do you think about the latest about uh, Gabrielle Giffords and her husband, Mark Kelly? They got this thing on the news now. They're asking, should Mark Kelly, he's an astronaut, should he go up in the uh, space shuttle Endeavor? This is the next to last uh, space shuttle launch that's ever going to be. And uh, he was supposed to head that up. They're asking, should he go or should he stay by Gabrielle's side since she was shot here while back? And uh, she is now going through her rehab and everything. And, and a lot of people say he should stay by her side. He should not go. I say he should go. I mean, this is going to be a shuttle mission. It's the next to last one. He's been training for it. Uh, and they said he was training for it even before she was shot. So she knew he was going. He apparently wanted to go. Uh, her life is out of danger now. It's not like she's in ICU and... You know, it's a 50-50 chance of whether she's going to live or die. No, the, uh, she's been standing and, and they've, they've got her doing rehab. Life has to go on. And he should go on that mission. I think he should. And I understand what people say. He should be by her side. Yes, he should be by her side. 
but being by somebody's side does not mean you have to literally sit in a room with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Life goes on in the real world. And uh, he's got a job to do. And he is in the military, and he should do it. I think he should do it. And uh, they say, well, well, it, he's going on a space shuttle mission. What if he don't come back? Well, I know that we've had two space shuttles to explode. Uh, but, I mean, he could get in his car and go home one evening. What if he gets hit by a tractor train? You know, what if, what if uh, something happens and he gets killed on the road? It happens every day. But yes, he should. He should go on that mission. And last but not least, now they say that, uh, you know, in New York, you can't smoke in any of the buildings. Uh, you can't smoke in some of the parks. Uh, and uh, Now they want it to where you can't smoke in Central Park. You can't smoke um, in Times Square. And basically they're saying you can't smoke in the buildings and you can't smoke outdoors. So they've got a lot of people that's mad about that. They say if you're caught smoking, you'll get fined $50. And uh, they've got a lot of people who want to get together, and they want to have a, uh, they said that either a smoke out or a smoke in. A smoke out, they have a great American smoke out every year where people stop smoking. So it should not be called a smoke out. It should be called maybe a smoke in, where everybody's going to get together in Times Square and protest and smoke. What do you think? Should they ban smoking outdoors? There's a lot of people that say, well, it's healthier for you, you know, blah, 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 and I don't want to breathe other people's smoke, and I understand that. But I am a former smoker. I have not smoked since December of 2004. However, I understand both sides. What I don't understand is I don't see how you can ban anybody from smoking outside. To me, that's going just a little bit too far to ban somebody from, what next? You can't smoke in your own homes next? And that being the case, who's going to be watching? Who's going to know? But I'll bet you somebody will try to come up with that. Anyway, uh, that's my rant and raves for today. Now, I'll probably have some more videos next week uh, if I can think of anything else to talk about. I think I've covered a whole lot right here. But I'll be on vacation next week. So, uh, Monday through Friday, I'll be on vacation. And I was hoping the weather would be pretty. It's been okay. It, it got up to almost 70 here a couple of days this past week. But now it's in the 30s and it's raining. And it's supposed to be raining sleep, but it's just raining. And it's supposed to warm up a little bit tomorrow. Anyway, however... That's all I have to talk about now, and uh, until next time, bye-bye.